Canada's spy agency is reaching out to more elected officials to offer briefings on foreign interference. This comes after a Chinese diplomat was expelled for allegedly targeting Conservative MP Michael Chong and his family. CSIS has been in touch with at least two politicians, as first reported by The Globe and Mail. The CBC's Natalia Goodwin is tracking this story for us. She joins us now from Ottawa. So, Natalia, good morning. What more can you tell us about who has been approached by the spy agency? Good morning, Hillary. Well, one is former Conservative Party leader Aaron O'Toole. Now, our colleagues in the Parliamentary Bureau spoke with a source who has knowledge of this contact between CSIS and O'Toole. The source telling us that CSIS is looking to set up a meeting. No time has been set yet for that meeting, though. But the source says that this could have, they believe this could have to do with Aaron O'Toole's sister. Now, she lived in Hong Kong for about a decade. She has returned home now, returned in 2021. But she she was living there during that very tumultuous time in Hong Kong recently. Now, the second MP that has been approached by CSIS is Jenny Kwan. Now, she represents Vancouver East. We spoke with her and she says that, you know, she is anxious, of course, to learn what CSIS has to say to her. She has been outspoken on China's human rights record. And Kwan also says that she's anxious to learn what the federal government is going to do to protect regular Canadians that may be... Uh, being targeted by China as well. Now, the federal government has said that they are going to set up a foreign agent's registry very soon. Kwan had some thoughts about that. Here she is. Actually, I think that registry is really important. Uh, I think that's important for all the countries, uh, you know, to which uh, there uh, concerns around uh, foreign interference. Uh, and so that registry, I think, is really important to move forward on. But that in and of itself, I think, is deficient. Uh, I think more there has to be a, a public inquiry. We shouldn't be getting this information in drips and drabs and guessing and wondering. Uh, there is basically not good transparency with what's going on here. And Hillary Kwan also telling us that due to all of this, she has come to the conclusion that her and her family should not be traveling to Hong Kong, mainland China, or any country that has extradition agreements with China. Natalia, this comes after a week of back and forth between the two countries. So walk us through some of what's happened. Yeah, that's right. So, of course, as you mentioned before, this all started with the situation around MP Michael Chong and the alleged uh, interference uh, with him and his family. And that allegedly happened as well with a diplomat that was here in Canada, Zhao Wei. Now, on Monday, Canada announced that we will be expelling him, and he actually did leave the country yesterday. So this week... China came back to us and announced they will be expelling one of our own diplomats, Jennifer Lin Lalon, and she had until today to leave the country. Now, all of this, when all of this came out about Chong, the situation, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau did give instructions to CSIS to ask them to start disclosing any concerns they have around federal politicians and their families. And Hillary's, that's where we are now with these meetings starting to be set up. Okay, Natalia, thank you for this. The CBC's Natalia Goodwin for us in Ottawa.